How's it going everyone? So this is gonna be 16 resources to help you with studying for the MCAT. A lot of you guys are coming from my MCAT study plan video, which is awesome. So I just wanna provide some extra resources because I know everyone studies a little bit differently. Some people need more resources and some people just need a more variety of resources. So this video is gonna be a combination of products, um, PDFs that are really helpful for like content review and some Reddit posts that have some awesome information. In them. I'm not gonna talk a whole lot about everything. The links are gonna be all in the description below. So let's just get started. Number one is the obligatory AMC prep bundle. Now, if you're gonna take the MCAT, you have to do this prep bundle before you take it. It's got the most relevant section banks. It's got the most relevant question banks and practice exams because it's made by the same people who made the MCAT. So it's gonna really tell you how you're standing before you take the MCAT and show you kind of ex roughly how you're gonna do on the exam. I scored exactly how, on the exam how I did on my last practice exam. Number two is UWorld. Now it's 1900 questions of practice MCAT style questions. And you know, according to all the reviews, people are saying this is awesome. I wish I had done it. I'm gonna do it for step one, some in medical school, but apparently their, their descriptions are awesome. People who uh, do UWorld are scoring like way better on their MCATs, especially when comparing like their first attempt to retakes. Um, I wish I had done it. Just go check out UWorld. It's an awesome, awesome resource. Number three, Jack Weston Cars. Talked about this in my study plan as well. It's just such an awesome free cars resource for people who need to study cars. It's, it's free and it's just a bunch of MCAT style cars passages and they do question of the day so they can send it to you but you can also go and look at all their other questions of the day so you can do like tons like hundreds of cars passages you'll you'll never run out there's so many of them number four and five kind of go together it's the khan academy website with the mcat section and the khan academy review pdf so basically khan academy i talked about this in my ochem video but it's just an awesome resource and they have an mcat section and it just goes through all the MCAT subjects with all the different content that you need to study with videos and practice questions. Um, and then they also have MCAT style questions, just so well done. And then someone basically made a Khan Academy PDF. I wanna say it was MedBros. And they took all the Khan Academy notes and the videos and they just made these paper notes on a PDF. And it's such, such good content review. Like you could probably just review these and not buy Kaplan or Princeton. Number six is the MCAT review sheet. So basically the AMC website has guidelines for what you should have you know, studied before the MCAT. And so someone made review sheets based off of that. And they're really well done, really condensed. They have all the different subjects. Um, you could probably not even read Kaplan or Princeton and just read through this. I found this after I had read Kaplan um, and I kind of wish I didn't because they're just so well condensed. So if you feel like you need a refresher more than like content review, definitely check this out. Such an awesome resource. Number seven and number eight are the obligatory Kaplan review and Princeton review. Most people get these books. I did Kaplan. I don't know much about Princeton. I've heard that it's a little bit more in depth than Kaplan is, but a little bit more in depth than the MCAT. Just, you know, watch a video comparing the two or kind of just see what other people think. Uh, most people get them. I did. I read the Kaplan books. Number nine is the overview of metabolic pathways. So if you're like me, I took biochem when I was studying for the MCAT. So I didn't really know my metabolic pathways very well. And this website had all of them and it had descriptions of them and it had all the intermediates and kind of just like how it linked and then how, you know, the overall picture of the uh, metabolic pathways linked together. Uh, really awesome. You know, if you're a little bit out of biochem or you just don't know your metabolic pathways as well as you're going to need to for the MCAT go check it out, read through the website, really just a brief, brief summary of all the metabolic pathways, really, really helpful. Number 10 is the Ortho 528 Anki deck. And this guy is a beast. He basically made all these Anki decks with all the different, you know, sections of the MCAT. The most useful one for me was the PsychSoch PDF, which went along with the 300 page PDF from the Khan Academy ones. Just really, really awesome. It really helped with PsychSoch, but there's a bunch of other uh, sections as well as like biochemistry, biology, chemistry that other people can use, but I mainly use the PsychSoch ones. Really awesome resources. This guy kills it. Most people on Reddit use this guy's deck. Number 11 is the physics notes PDF. It's basically just that. It's like all the physics sections on the MCAT with notes and equations and descriptions of the equations and descriptions of the variables. It's a really awesome refresher for all the physics stuff. You could probably just read this rather than studying any of the physics content review, because as long as you know all these equations and kind of how they relate to each other, you're gonna probably do fine on physics. To follow that up, number 12 is the physics equation PDF, which is kind of like the physics review one, except it's just equations. It's literally like three pages long and that's it. And it's just all the equations you have to know for the MCAT, really condensed, really, really nice. So if you're trying to find a place to, that tells you exactly what equations you need to know for your MCAT, just go click this link and check it out. Number 13 is the no BS study tips Reddit thread. Now you should be checking out multiple people's study plans. Like a lot of you guys are coming from my study video, but you should be checking out other people's study plans. And this guy really hits the nail on the head when it comes to studying for the MCAT. He, he just kind of skips over all the not important things, talked about what was the most important while studying for the exam. 
just does a really, really good job of breaking it down. He also mentions UWorld and other resources that I kind of talked about in this video. So go check it out. That's just another list of resources. Super, super awesome. Number 14 is how I got a 525 on the MCAT Reddit thread. Now you should be reviewing so many other people's MCAT study plans. And this guy really does a good job of talking about how he got a 525. There's some crossover and resources, and then there's other methods that just worked really well for him, including time management and whatnot. Go check it out. Go check out so many people's study plans and just make one that's really good for you. Number 15 is the My Content Review Notes based off the AMC guidelines of Reddit thread. And this guy basically takes the AMC guidelines and makes notes out of them. And he puts all the links in his Reddit thread. It, really awesome. Just really well organized. This guy did a really, really good job. I'm sure he did great on the MCAT because he just really in depth went through all the different sections that the AMC says you should study and he made notes. And this is why, you know, you don't, might not necessarily need Kaplan or Princeton because just in this video alone, I've listed a bunch of other content review places that are all free. And if they work for you, and I think that they actually are better just in terms of being concise, you know, go check them out before you, you know, plan on buying any books. And the last one, number 16, is like the master Reddit thread. It's the all my study materials I use for the MCAT Reddit thread. This guy, I don't know how he actually managed to get through all this stuff, but he lists every relevant resource for the MCAT, especially all the relevant free resources. He lists like the Anki decks, the PDFs, um, a lot of what I talked about in this video as well. He just go check out this Reddit thread. Like if you're gonna take anything away from this video, it's just go to this guy's Reddit thread. There's so many links for um, different resources and again, I don't know if he actually managed to use all of them, but it is just an awesome central hub of MCAT study resources. And the best part is most of them are free from his thread. And that's kind of, you know, if you're gonna study for this exam, at least get stuff for free. At least don't spend a whole bunch of money on studying for the exam, because it's already expensive, you know, to apply to medical school and even just take the exam on its own. So those are the 16 MCAT study resources for this video. All the links are in the description. So just go check them out, you know, comment any questions. I know I didn't talk about them in detail, but I just wanted to kind of get to the point on all of them. That way you guys can just go see what works for you, see what you like the most, and then make an MCAT study plan that's right for you. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.